All right, putting a new roof on here in today's video is how you calculate how much materials you need. This is a seven and 12 pitch roof, putting comp on there. A lot of geometric shapes you gotta figure out, find square footage, divide that by a hundred to get the number of squares and then three bundles per square. You see, I had to go back, get some more. So I'm gonna take the drone up and show you the house. A couple of things you wanna notice here that there's really only a couple of geometric shapes there are triangles so they're on the hip and there's a triangle like at the top of the screen there there's a parallelogram and then there's also a trapezoid so you need to be able to find the area of those geometric shapes and then add all that total square footage up and then you're going to divide by a hundred to get the number of squares and one thing you really have to remember, especially on a house like this, is that with all of those valleys, there's going to be a tremendous amount of waste, especially if you're putting in metal valleys. So you got to take that into account and it's going to be substantial. And then again, this is if you were on the rooftop measuring it. So you've already taken the pitch into account. I would also check with your roof supplier. If you have plans, you could bring it to the roof supplier and they'll give you a takeoff for the number of squares. Um, you know, there's a lot of money involved. This is just the way I do it. And I would certainly check with your local roofers and your local supplier. Estimating the material correctly takes a fair bit of math, some calculations, and most importantly, experience. Um, this roof was complicated with a lot of valleys in it. And I, in fact, kind of screwed it up and miscalculated it and was a few squares short. So not only did I have to buy more squares, but I had to drive down to the roof supply house and buy more and then hand stack the roof with the additional squares. When you buy the materials, if you're really accurate, usually you buy a rooftop delivery along with that, which means they come out with the truck and a conveyor belt and they stack the roof for you. If you end up buying too many singles, that means you got to carry them back down on the ladder and put them in your truck and return them. So math is the key, but experience there's no substitute for. So let me go ahead and start going over how to calculate the area of a roof to find the number of squares needed. Let's start with the easy example here. Let's say you have a gable end on both sides of the roof. It looks like this. You're up on the roof, so you're measuring the dimensions. You measure this out to be 20 feet, and this side is 20 feet, and then the overall length of it is 40 feet. So you're gonna multiply 40 times 20 to get 800 square feet right here. That's a notation for 800 square feet. And this is 800 square feet. Um, no valleys, pretty much no cutting. Um, you're, gonna, you're gonna buy 40 foot of ridge to go over the top. And you're gonna take those 1600 total square feet, 1600 total square feet, and you're gonna divide by 100 those will cancel and that'll give you 16 squares. So that's kind of the easiest example where you have um, a gable end on both sides. All right, now, I know it looks kind of like an envelope. Now let's say you have a hip on both sides. So you're framing back in here and this is the only ridge. Let's say again, this is 40 feet, 60 feet. And then you need to measure this altitude right here. You need to find this height here on the flat. And if that's a 15 feet, this hip end would be the same, the same 15 feet. And then you would have this ridge would be 30 feet. So now you have two different shapes. You have the triangle right here. And then this thing right here is called a trapezoid. So let's find the area of the triangle first. I'm just gonna redraw it here. Area of a triangle is base times height, 40 times 15 divided by two. Again, that's gonna be base times height divided by two, or 40 times 15 divided by two, and that's gonna work out to be 300. So that triangle right there is 300. This one has the same dimensions. It is also 300. Next, let's go ahead and find the area of this trapezoid right here. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides and the other sides are not parallel. So what I want to find here is actually what's called the median and it is the average, this value right here, it is the average of the two bases. So the way I find this red line here, we'll just call it X, is I'm going to add the one base 30 
plus the other base 60 and divide by 2. 90 divided by 2 is 45. So I'm going to take that 45, and that's my median of that trapezoid. And I take that median, and I multiply it by the height here. And that height, if this is 40, then this is 20. So that means I have 45, the median, times the height, 20, to get 900. So that means this trapezoid's 900 square feet. This one's the same, 900 square feet. And then now I have the one trapezoid, the other one. I'm going to add all those up, 900, 900, plus the 300, plus the 300. That's going to be my total square footage. Um, 18 and 6 is 2,400 square feet. And then 2,400 divided by 100 square feet to get the number of squares is going to be 24 squares. So another shape is a parallelogram. You might see this when you have a hip on one end and then a California frame in, you know, onto a gable end coming out this way. You might have seen it in the, in the drone footage earlier. You need the base of 40 foot and then the height perpendicular to that base. It, let's say in this case it's 20 foot and the area of a parallelogram is going to be base times height, like a rectangle. And you could think of it as like this triangle right here getting cut off and putting it over here. So the area of this purple parallelogram is base times height, 40 times 20, or 800 square feet. And a square feet, because I have feet times feet. All right, just a quick recap. Uh, I got four shapes here, area of a rectangle, and everything's gonna be in feet, and then you divide the total number a feet by 100 to get the number of squares. Area of a rectangle is base times height. Area of a triangle is the base times the height, and then you divide that number by two. A trapezoid is this base, base one, plus this base, base two, divided by two times that height, and it has to be perpendicular. And then a parallelogram is base times height. So those are the four primary shapes you're going to see in roofing. This is all calculated up on the roof by measuring the length, and that'll take into account the pitch, because you're up there measuring the length on the roof itself. So that'll include the eaves and the pitch of the roof. All right, I hope this video is informative. Uh, hopefully it helped. Please comment below if you do a lot of roofs, if you got a different system, or if you have a better system. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.